Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about uh, stepper motors and uh, lead screws. So I would like to show you how to convert the rotary motion of uh, stepper motors into linear motions. So you can uh, apply the stepper motors for different uh, purposes or different uh, applications. So First of all, I want to tell you a few examples why it is important to be able to convert the rotational motion into linear motion. So, for example, we have the motors which produce uh, rotational uh, or rotary motion, but uh, those are not so useful other than driving a wheel or something like that. But, uh, for example, if you would like to lift something or if you would like to move some tables, like in the case of uh, 3D printers and uh, CNC machines, then it's much better to use linear motion. But still, uh, we want to drive these parts by motors, but we don't need the rotary motion in that way. So the most simple uh, way to convert this uh, kind of movement uh, from rotary to linear is to use lead screws. And uh, there are four different lead screws or actually three different lead screws here and one ball screw but their uh, rules are roughly the same so let's talk a little bit about the lead screws so i show you this big guy here it's uh, 12 millimeters in in diameter it has a single start and then uh, this is the lead screw then, and this is the nut. It's made of uh, brass. So I mentioned that uh, it is a single start uh, lead screw. So if you have a single start lead screw and uh, you know the lead of the screw, then you calculate uh, the amount of travel of the nut by one full rotation. So uh, the nut is fixed and then you rotate the lead screw uh, by 360 degrees so you do one revolution and then uh, the nut will uh, travel in one direction or the other by a certain uh, distance so this distance is determined by the uh, parameter of this system which is called the lead and uh, usually it is two millimeters uh, for the like commonly used lead screws like those which are used in uh, the z-axis of 3d printers those are two millimeters lead so you do one rotation and then the screw will move or the object which is uh, attached to the screw will move two millimeters and then it's a single start but then uh, you can have single start again but this is uh, one millimeter so the distance between uh, the two uh, threads is a bit more it's a bit less so it's half of the previous one, basically. And then uh, this is a special nut. So the previous one was this brass nut. But this other guy is equipped with this spring here. So it is uh, used to eliminate the backlash. So this screw is under tension all the time. And uh, there won't be any or there will be much less backlash so but for these you have 
so I can move it a little bit. So single start lead screw two millimeters. Single start uh, lead screw uh, one millimeter lead. So you do one full rotation on the lead screw and uh, the nut is only traveling one millimeter in the direction of the which is determined by the thread. So whether you rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise that will determine the uh, travel. And then this is a special lead screw. Uh, you can see this part in the middle. One uh, thread is left-handed and uh, one thread is right-handed. So if you fix these nuts and uh, start to rotate this, then either they go towards each other, like in this case, or they separate, like in this case. And uh, this is the screw what I use for my uh, tensile testing machine. And then this is the ball screw. The principles are the same. So you have the lead and uh, instead of having like simple nuts with the thread inside, you have uh, balls circulating in this uh, body, which means that uh, there is a less friction and uh, the movement is maybe a bit more precise and more smooth due to the balls. So if you have some very serious project, then uh, you should use ball screws and uh, they are better when you want to uh, move high loads or yeah, if you want to move uh, big masses attached to the nut. So I mentioned that uh, this screw have has uh, one start. These screws can come in uh, several uh, different uh, versions. For example, the screw, I, I did not want to remove it, but the screw, which is in this, uh, let's call it frame, has four starts. So I don't know, but uh, let's say this is the most common when you have one start. That means one rotation will uh, move like one times of the uh, determined lead. So if the lead is uh, two millimeters, then one rotation will move the nut by two millimeters. And then if you have two starts, so basically there are two starts uh, in the thread, then uh, you move twice uh, the time of the uh, lead. So that means that one rotation will result four millimeters linear motion. And then in the case of this, we have uh, four uh, starts, which means that uh, you do one rotation, for example, with the motor, uh, it does one full uh, rotation, then uh, this will move eight millimeters. So these four, well, these three screws regarding their starts are the most common, I would say. So. Basically we know everything, so I would like to talk about this system. I showed this previously. So I have this small frame. Uh, we have these rigid rods here and some bearings. And there is a profile here, which is basically connecting the block here. And then we have the lead screw. I told you already, uh, two, two millimeter lead, but uh, four starts. So one rotation will uh, cause eight millimeter movement in uh, this direction. And just a bearing to support this guy here. A coupler, a small NEMA 17 stepper motor, an Arduino Uno. And then we have this TB, uh, 6600 stepper driver and then uh, it is connected to a regulated power supply. So that's all what we have. And now I just uh, demonstrate some very simple motion exercises using the Excel stepper library. So if you haven't watched my previous video about the, the library, like how to accelerate, how to move your um, stepper motor, 
then uh, you should read it. But uh, basically what I want to uh, demonstrate here that you can use the access stepper uh, library and use it to uh, convert and the linear uh, to convert the rotary motion into linear motion. So basically we just rotate this uh, lead screw here and then this uh, stage or this uh, piece will move uh, somewhere. So first of all I would like to move uh, away from the stepper. So I know all the parameters, but uh, I will write it on the screen as well. So first of all, uh, I would like to move eight uh, centimeters. So I, I uh, did all the experiments uh, before, so I know the numbers, but we can quickly calculate it basically. So I told you that uh, this has four starts, two millimeter lead, which means that if you rotate this uh, axis or lead screw by one rotation, so you do 360 degrees, then uh, this uh, part will move eight millimeters. And we know that uh, this uh, motor uh, driver is set up uh, in a way that it has 400 steps micro stepping. So it means that in order to do one full circle with the motor, it will take 400 steps. So we also know, and we also know that uh, the access stepper library uh, speaks the language of steps. So you determine the step, the number of steps and uh, the motor will do the required amount of steps. So what we have to do, we have to convert the required uh, distance into the number of steps. And then uh, what we need is the parameters of the lead screw and the settings of the, of the micro, strap, micro step driver. So for example, I say that, okay, from this part, I want to move in that direction let's say four centimeters and we know that one rotation will cause eight millimeter uh, movement in in this direction so uh, we want four centimeters so uh, basically five times eight millimeter uh, that is four centimeters and then we also know that uh, one rotation, so eight millimeter movement is 400 uh, steps. So we have to multiply that also by five. And then that is uh, 2000. So we step 2000 steps. And then this uh, thing will move uh, four centimeters in some direction. We don't want to move it against or towards the motor. So we move in that direction. So uh, let's check the distance uh, by a caliper, for example, between uh, in, in this gap. So it's a very rough uh, measurement because uh, it's not uh, so nice. But now this was 31.6, but I zero it out. And now I uh, just in, uh, give the instructions to the motor. So we want it to move uh, 2000 steps uh, from oh, f away from the from the motor. And then with some quite normal speed. So steps are done and uh, we do the same uh, measurement so this was zero now you can see it's almost uh, four centimeters we have some uh, mechanical issues with the with the setup but uh, if you have a good 
or better setup than me, then you can have it uh, perfectly four centimeters. And uh, we can continue again. So from, from this position, so I zero out this and uh, I move again the same uh, distance. And we measure again. So this is roughly four centimeters again. And then uh, we can say that, okay, we moved eight centimeters. So now we move back. So a quick map again, eight millimeters is 400 steps here. So in order to move 80 millimeters, we need 4,000 steps. So I will uh, instruct the Arduino to move uh, 4,000 steps towards the motor. And uh, I will try something here. So I, I zero out and I hope it will stay visible more or less. So now I just try to close it. Of course, I did not measure it precisely because it was moving and uh, the line uh, was not uh, perfect, perfectly uh, straight, but you can see it's almost eight centimeters. So this was a very simple exercise. But uh, you can see that uh, you just need to uh, come up with a formula which converts the uh, number of steps required to move uh, some certain uh, distance. And then you can use these kind of uh, setups, lead screw, to move uh, some weights or move some table precisely. For example, if you want to move some sensors, to detect something on some surface or you just want to move a workpiece or, or something like that, uh, then this is a very good uh, solution. And then you can put another frame like this perpendicular to this frame. So then you have an X and Y uh, setup. So I think uh, this was all. So once more again, there are several lead screws with different uh, types of nuts, like regular and anti-backlash nuts. And uh, the number of leads are different. So therefore, by applying one rotation, they will move differently. And then uh, there are twin lead screws. So you move uh, towards uh, uh, each other with the nuts or you move or separate the nuts in this direction if you rotate. And then we have ball screws which are more smooth, mm, less friction and uh, therefore less noise, less, uh, less noise, more precision and um, maybe it's a better option if you want to use something more serious. So I hope I helped you a little bit and uh, please check the other video which uh, discusses the basics of the stepper motors. So you can see how to write your own code to move around with this kind of uh, setup. So see you in the next, next video.